Hello and welcome back to Timberborn. And there are things that I want to do here, but one main thing that I want to do is to actually start working on this area right here. I've been talking about this for quite a long time now, really. And the idea is that we actually use this as a water storage place, uh, some sort of lake, and then bring the water all the way through here. Now, to do that, we will have some challenges here because, well, I want this... Hmm, that's a good question now. Do I want this to be lowered? I think we should have at least like the same uh, height as this area. So to make that happen, this is basically what we need to do here. Oops, not there. I'll remove that in a second. But we'll go all the way like here. And we keep going. And this would be like a another big, like huge, actually, <laughs> change that we need to do here. This will probably take a while. But I won't leave it just there. I will also... Uh, a mark for demolition. No, not this one. I think that's the one that I want. Yeah. So I think we need to build a new district around here somewhere, really. I feel like we have a pretty good area here that we can work on, but I just don't know where that new suburb would live. So Maybe this would be a good area and then we actually connect these two um, holes, maybe is the right description for that. And then we can use this area to dig some resource. Or I, I don't know, really. I could or oh, we are, have them like putting down the the dynamites in here. Let's take a look. If we go and oh, where is the this one district center? So hmm, now it's a pretty good question where this district will go. I think it would be really beneficial for us to have access to this area. So what I might do, I might build this somewhere around here, and then we would have access to all the areas around here so for example if we have this then we have access to this one have access down here and all that sort of stuff we will also probably need some sort of stairs in here so we can actually reach this space and maybe something to connect all that so what i will start doing i will cancel some of these buildings yep and then I'll put down a pathway connecting all of that probably go all the way here maybe well let's go straight there and then we do this and we can definitely connect that with a little stair cool Little beginnings, and I think it's always good. Now, we need another little stair in here, and then connect this to a pathway. Now, er, hmm. <laughs> I feel like we... Where do we stop this district from going? This one... We have another district in here. Or have I removed it? I know that we have this one. That should go through all this area. We do have this gate here. We have that gate there. Oh, so this is this one. Yeah, so I believe that what we might do here. Um, let's cancel this. I'll try to do it right here and see how that goes. And then we build four new 
districts will start there. All right. Where are we going to? Yeah, it's, you know, close enough, I would say. <laughs> but then if we can actually build that, I'll increase priority over there. Maybe I'll increase priority around here as well. And we need some things that I'll, well, I'm pretty sure that we will need around here. And that'll be a drop-off point. I think that'll be really, really important for us in here. So let's start connecting this, making sure that this is all going according to plan. And how can we bring beavers here if we don't have stairs done? That's a very important question. I have no idea. Maybe I'll have to build a district between this area, maybe something in here so they can actually come there. That's, yeah, that's one way. By the way, everything else here is, I think it's done. We also have this area that we can go ahead and detonate. This will open up a little bit more of the areas that we have in here. We can extend all that in there, bring some pathways, and now we have water all the way over there as well. So pretty cool stuff uh, for landscaping. We might just finish that and everyone's happy. We have water around here, that's fine. And yeah, I'm just worried about these. I'm not really sure how that will play out for us. I feel like we'll need um, a midman in here to actually get this district going. Otherwise, that might not happen. If we look at this, if we look at this, rather, yeah, we get close, but not where we were. I think I might do it. I might add something like... Oh, if I can sell. All right, we need three by three over there. We go. And two by two, which would be a building like this. Then I'll probably... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe... Yeah, I think I'll remove this pathway here. We can add... What is that? This one over here and another one connecting that. So all goes where it should be. And then we add a district center. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Good. And then for a storage drop-off point, we get in here. Good. For this one, what do we need? We need, well, Dynamites. And we have dynamites from here, I believe. Are we still sending dynamites there? We shouldn't. Why do we need more dynamites here? We, we don't. We have a limit in there, so that, that's all right, I guess. I'll add a new one. And this one will go in here. And for that, we are getting explosives. For the moment, that'll be all that we'll be doing here just delivering those explosives and when we get this all sorted we should be all right oh this is actually done good which means that we don't need that well maybe that's kind of too late <laughs> that's right i guess um one thing that i want to do while this happen is basically extends the pathway structure that we have around here. I want to send it over there and I want to connect it at the, not there, at the back here. So they have not just another way to go through, but I want 
to create more of this. So basically what I'm talking about, I want to come in and do this. And then hopefully also this. And then we get in here and we do some dynamites in there. There we go. And hopefully we can also, well, not that I need to prioritize this, they are red doing it anyway, but ugh, almost killed someone there. <laughs> but that was really, really close, as always. It's always that close. And then we can also do this one, add some more of those, get some paths going around it, give them access to this. And these, we'll have to cut them off for a little bit. So I'll wait for all of these to be done. And then when that's finished, we will actually do what I need to do. So we have 100 explosives in here already. So maybe I'll do two different things when we actually, when everyone wakes up. We have 72 adults, no homeless, 10 unemployed. And around here, we have zero unemployed. So I'll send probably 10 of the unemployed ones into there, and then they'll start working on it. So let me quickly pause. I'll get 10, 10 adults in there so they can start doing their thing. I'll, well, Oh, I know what I can do here. I can do this so they have access to there. And then I can actually cancel these pathways in here and do some landscaping, also known as blowing things up. Let's make these a priority. Let's make these a priority get things going and hopefully they will work around here. I'll just pay attention to this because they don't have water or food over there. So I'll migrate them back when we are actually done. And let's get this out. Then we actually create this. Build a new pathway there, reconnect everything. We still have one missing there. I, I know that. And we are doing that probably tomorrow so i'll wait for that before i can actually get this going so can i get more people working here doesn't seem like it which might be a problem to have so many beavers in there but you know what that's that's fine to build this we need logs and planks what i might do i might get this being delivered in here as well I think I'll get like, I don't remember how many we need there, but probably three planks there and three log there, really. Don't need more than that. Should be more than enough. And when they finish here, we will send them back there. So nothing to lose, no big issues. These ones, we just need to remove these and what's underneath and rebuild all that. That might be a slightly problem unless we actually do this and this. There we go. And then we can remove these access and they have somewhere else that they can go. It's night time, so what I'll do, I'll migrate everyone back into... District 1, so they can have food and water, they are hungry, so hopefully they'll get something to eat, there we go. Having fun, and going home, and having a place to actually sleep. Why do we have three flooded... Ah, these are the buildings that we're not using anymore. I should actually remove that. But you know what? For now, that would do. That would definitely do. So... Okay, this is done, then this is in there, so what I can do here, I have to remove that path, I will remove this, 
I'll remove that. That is a lot of things being removed. I'll get this one in there. Now, migrate people back to District 7. Let's go with just six people. We don't need all of that anyway. And yeah, let's get it going. As soon as this is done, we can blow this up and fix things. So we have water coming all the way here. And when that happens, you see that these will all be green again. So there we go, can detonate. We have a drought coming in, well, tonight, really. So <laughs> would be good timing to get this finished. So that means that we get more water as well, which is always a pretty good thing. Now we add another one there. Add a pathway there, and this should be done very shortly. There you go. Could you see this coming along now? We have, well, a lot of explosives. So I don't think that'll be a problem, really. Not a problem, not a problem at all. Now, think about all of these, right? I'm pretty sure we need more explosives in here. I'll probably do like a wall around there. That's at least how I see this happening. Maybe over here, over there, there. Maybe I'll open this up a little bit and then we can build something in here. Although we have to actually lower this down anyway. So let's prepare that. Let's prepare the terrain, make sure that we have things properly set up there and get this going. Yeah, this would be a huge project. Ooh. And before I actually forget, let's send everyone back to District 1. Oh, unless like they, they'll die of thirsty and, um, and they'll be hungry. So we don't want that. We definitely don't want that. Now, this is all there all covered by water in here drought is about to start but before it does what i feel we should do is basically get some water in here just so we have a little bit more water in this area and it's a little bit easier to survive the drought um yeah eight days of drought that'll be a long one so hopefully this will be enough water for us we are like right now we are much better than we ever were before and i don't think we will have any issues water wise but yeah we just have like to keep an eye on this just to make sure that we we basically don't die really that's all that we we are aiming for in here but yeah the only job here is to bring all these um, dynamites in here and make sure that we have a proper setup in there. So what I might do, I might go away for a minute and I'll be back with you when we are actually on a better place in here and then we can go through this together. So see you in a minute. Okay, this has progressed a little bit, but there is still quite a lot to do here as you can see. But I've made some plans in here, so made a way for them to get into here and start working around this area. I've also added a water pump because, well, this will reach as deep as it can and <laughs> then uh, this will help in this area. Also bringing some uh, planks and woods around here so we can build all this housing and start creating a permanent settlement in this area and we don't have anyone in here yet but that will come that will come and then what else have i done yeah i think that that's all but at the moment we have zero unemployed people in here zero unemployed people in there it seems like we actually should add maybe some more housing around here we had and 82 people in this district 
90 housing so we can definitely have more in here now interesting enough we have a flag that's not doesn't have anyone working but that's all so we might actually need to wait for people to grow up really so it's not even a matter of adding more housing but yeah because like like here we still have three more space which means that we can have more people being born like we just had in here if you look back this one yeah i think population is growing uh slowly but it's growing i just saw that we might need some more water in here i'll open these up so we start filling the uh, irrigation line that we have in here that would be really helpful if we do i think that would be enough this area it's fine we don't need water in there although it would be really helpful to have water in here but i think we're pretty good in water in this area still so i won't worry too much about that we still have a day and a half in here remaining for this which might be more than enough for us to, to survive this drought um but yeah i'm thinking that we could actually add more housing in this area last episode we also built the the grills in here so this is giving us a lot of grilled potatoes are we sending some grilled potatoes to district two yes we are i think i'll stop that we don't need that anymore as we are making our own we should have some grilled potatoes staying just here we don't need to send that away and yeah but definitely housing around this area would be something that i would welcome we did a few things around here i i don't know if i want to build more housing in there maybe over here there would be nice area for this i would say maybe let, let's start working in here right one over there then let's add another one in here and at the back there we could fit something like this and i might do it which means that i might also open the ground in here and let some water in just like thinking about future proofing all this area not that we need we could do the same here so you have like plenty of space that we could that could do that um and i think that'd be more than enough i won't put anything like any other housing on top of that although with that said here i go i didn't take long to start like piling things up i could actually have built this one in here thinking about that maybe yeah not now could have like a monument we could unlock a new monument really and tribute to ingenuity this needs power interesting flame of progress yeah let's use it we have like plenty of points there I feel like there's no really the right side for this, so I'll put it. This is not the best place for that. I feel like we should have like this. Why I keep saying like? <laughs> it should be like a more, I did that again, a more centerpiece for this area. And that would be in here, really. And there we would just probably add some decoration if anything yeah i might add one of those in here why not sounds like the right thing to do there then for this area we do this we bring this pathway we might connect these later on i'll see how that goes but yeah this will give them some uh more housing and population grow and probably 
we start having and seeing unemployed people that can help us in here because this is now a bit stuck and I don't like it. So maybe we can create this as a new area and then extend this district. And with that, that means that this area would be reachable by everyone. And then we remove this one. That might be a good idea now. I don't know if this would reach all the way over there though. We might need to, to make a test and see, you know what? It doesn't cost me anything to do this. So remove that. I'll remove this, create a new path in here. There you go. All right. That's actually pretty good. And then we have explosives, we have logs and planks, all that we need. And this would be our only district in here. Obviously, we can't reach this area yet. Well, yeah, we. it's a bit too far, but we could add some stairs around here. And you know what? That's exactly what I will do. There we go. We need water. How do we get water in here as well? And I think we start with a small tank. And that'll go, well, right there, really. We need what for that? Just logs for this one, logs. I think we might have everything that we need to start bringing people in here and actually start building all that. So it's the, I'll, I'll start doing this probably on the next day. By the way, drought is finished and we survived quite well. The water is flowing through again. Nice. These we could actually let some water in just to have this a little bit more filled up. There we go. Should be more than enough. And yeah, I think for today, we will stop here. This will be the foundation for this new district and how we actually deal with all this area here. It's a huge project, I think. I feel like I say that for every single episode, but it's one of the biggest projects that we've done here. But I'm quite excited about this. And I love like all the lessons that we learned during this gameplay. We are getting very close to, to the end here. I think this will be the last thing that we do. And then we'll move on, maybe do uh, another playthrough with the updated game as well. So we have a little bit more fun in there. And now that we started a new day, I will start migrating. You know what? Let's get six people migrating to this district. And we hopefully will start seeing this all being built or at least updated. Now, what we also need in here is potentially some food. We have like plenty of carrots in there. And I'll add a couple. Uh, so carrots is good. We need water. So food for them to survive. And then we'll see if we can basically survive these um, in these little settlements in here. But yeah, that'll be it for today. While they build all these things around here, we will look at that. Look at that. That's a nice view over here. By the way, I put a flag in here so we can start getting some resources from there. So we'll see how that goes. But for now, thanks a lot for your support and leave me some comments for this final episode here in Timberborn. There is uh, a lot of dynamites that we need in this area, but we'll get there. We will definitely get there. Well, thanks again and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.